new 2017 GMC Acadia is smaller than the old model, but it offers a wealth of improvements, including more secure handling and a nicer interior with more features. There's good headroom for tall adults in the third row, though their knees might be cramped if another tall adult occupies the second row seat in front of them. Smaller adults will find the space comfortable, but others may not want to be back there for more than a quick errand. Outward visibility in the Acadia is good. With 79 cubic feet of cargo space with the second and third rows folded, the 2017 Acadia's cargo area is significantly smaller than the 2016 Acadia's. Small item interior storage is plentiful and includes two storage compartments beneath the flat load floor. If you want upscale interior accommodations without having to shop the luxury SUV classes, consider the Nissan Murano, which offers an elegant cabin with top-notch materials that you would expect to find in a much pricier vehicle. The 2017 GMC Acadia offers improved driving dynamics over previous models. Around corners, there's little body roll, and handling feels poised. Ride comfort is excellent in the Acadia. The base engine provides decent power, but the available V6 offers a satisfying boost in acceleration and refinement. Acceleration and power the 2017 GMC Acadia is equipped with a 193 horsepower 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine. A 310 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 is available. A 6 speed automatic transmission is standard with either engine. The EPA estimates the 4 cylinder Acadia will get up to 21 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. That's typical for the class, though you can get slightly better fuel economy on the highway with rivals like the Ford Edge and Nissan Murano, which also have more powerful engines. The V6 Acadia gets 18 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway. The Toyota Highlander Hybrid leads the class with 27 miles per gallon slash city and 28 miles per gallon slash highway. The Acadia's four-cylinder engine comes standard with start-stop technology, which helps conserve fuel. Many start-stop systems are criticized for being too noticeable, and while the Acadia's isn't imperceptible, it's less jarring than some. Acceleration and power While the base engine provides adequate power for daily driving, it isn't quite as civilized as the available V6, which is quieter, offers more passing power and handles the Acadia's heft with more refinement. The 2017 GMC Acadia redesign features improved interior materials and styling, including attractive trims and finishes. While you may not be bowled over by the Acadia's interior materials and styling, particularly in the lower trims, they are still impressive and appropriate for the class. The third row has good headroom, and the seats are well cushioned but some adults will find the space cramped on longer trips. Interior Summary The base 2017 GMC Acadia has seating for seven occupants, while models equipped with optional captain's chairs can accommodate six. The new all-terrain model has seating for five. A sliding and reclining second row is standard. Heated and ventilated power-adjustable front seats, leather upholstery, and a heated steering wheel are available. While some smaller adults may be comfortable in the Acadia's third row for a good amount of time, others will find the space cramped when there for more than a brief period. Still, the seats have decent cushioning and plenty of headroom for a six-footer who doesn't mind cramped knees. The Acadia also has good outward visibility. Seating, the 2017 Acadia comes standard with a rear-view camera push-button start, automatic tourism climate control, satellite radio, 5 USB ports, Bluetooth, a 7-inch touchscreen with IntelliLink, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, a 6-speaker audio system, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Available features include remote start, front pedestrian braking, rear cross-traffic alert, forward collision warning, automatic pre-collision braking, Rear Park Assist, Side Blind Zone Alert with Lane Change Alert, 
lane keep assist, a dual panel sunroof, navigation, an 8 speaker Bose surround sound system, a rear seat entertainment system, and GMC's Intelli Link infotainment system with an 8 inch touch screen. Interior features The touch screen's icons are large and easy to see, and they quickly respond to your touch. When you don't want to look away from the road to use the touch screen, you can use the supplementary physical knobs and buttons to adjust radio settings or to get you back to the main menu. Music